Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ASNA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis several times last week, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. First, I'm gonna do is a little house clean and go ahead and get rid of that line right there. Sure, that level still pertains to the chart, it's just not relevant right now, and from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this analysis as clean as possible. First key update, that comes about is based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So 38 cents, one of the newest areas of support. But what I'm gonna do here is actually adjust this level up to the 40 cent mark because this is what I would now consider the ideal level going forward. Ideal meaning if you were to ask Clay, what would make this chart look the best? Certainly if the price can stay up above 40 cents, that would be the ideal situation. With that being said, don't get me wrong, it's not like if the price falls below 40, then that implies the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could stay up above that area, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there I am defining as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself, moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 40 cents would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is up above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Nothing fancy or complicated behind this other than the fact of where the party stopped today, and that was right up there at 44 cents. So keep a close eye on 44 cents going forward, although really resistance levels don't matter. What do I mean by that? Well, what matters the most is what the price has already been doing, and that is this right here, just building those higher bases, or if you wanna picture those as stair steps. So as long as the stair steps continue to be constructed in the upwards direction, then given enough time, everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on healthy consolidations and chipping away and building those higher lows and just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.